like any other high school student, um, it was uh, Stephen Hawking's uh, Brief History of Time, which got me really interested in uh, black holes and cosmology and physics in general. And whenever I told people, my family, my friends, that I want to study physics and become a physicist, that was the book that I would suggest they would buy and read to understand what I'm talking about. It was really inspiring to me and to many others. But um, the one thing that kind of made me feel a bit, um, in, in a way, similar to him was that I always thought um, with the condition that he has, it must be really difficult. Obviously, he can't sit down and write equations and think on a piece of paper. So he would have to come up with some imaginative way to think of all of those equations or calculations that he has to do in his head. Um, and that was really inspiring. Because uh, myself, personally, I suffer from severe migraine and cluster headaches. And um, they really affect my life and my thinking. And um, whenever I felt like, oh, it's a bit unfair that I have to go through this and still prove that I'm a good physicist, I always thought of, you know, Stephen Hawking has a much more difficult situation and he's found a way to still inspire so many people and do such great physics, so he must be able to do it too. I would have loved to meet him in person. I never had a chance and obviously I think even if I had met him in a conference, um, he's such a great figure that I would have been quite intimidated to even go close and introduce myself as, you know, you're one of the reasons that I think I can still do physics as a, you know, a person with a bit of um, um, health issues. But um, yeah, never had a chance. Yeah.